flakes fall on thee. the tulip grass garden that was shown on the cage and this is what it looks like up close and you can probably make it better than I can because as you know guys kind of suck at the DIY crafts so the first thing you're going to need is a piece of construction paper and I would just cut it in half or like a quarter or maybe in like one third you can make it as straight as you want or you can have it like I don't know what you want to do with it I did mine at a slope, so like it was kind of like a hill, and that was kind of interesting, but I don't know. If, if you guys want to do that, you can do it straight or whatever. So you're just going to go ahead and cut like this to make it kind of look like grass, and you can cut like small ones, big ones, to make it kind of look uneven since grass isn't very like the same. So I just kind of go like that. My other ones were kind of a little more like the same size. But as you can see, there's little indents in that. That's what's going to hold up your tulips. Now, I just took a letter thing, and I have two here. And you just have your thing, your little letter. Or you can use whatever you want. I just use this because of, of its thickness. So you're going to go ahead and draw your tulip. And I have a couple different colors here. I'm actually going to use the light green because I used both the dark green on that one and close up on this perch. <laughs> Buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> Paige says hi in her language. So you're going to draw a straight line on it and you're going to start from the very bottom and go up to about like more than halfway up the, pa up, up, blah, 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 up the paper. And then you're just going to go back down and just to make sure that it's a fine line. And then you're going to do like a triangle, almost like the tulip leaves, because I'm doing tulips in these. But you can do whatever flower you want, and that's just like the little leaf part. And then you go ahead and fill it in. So I'm just going to do this really, really fast. Maybe. And then I usually like to do my second leaf a little bit smaller. So I'll start more towards the bottom, and it'll look like that. And you can take your time filling this in. And I know I'm using Expo markers, but I like the colors with these Expo markers a lot. So, yeah. So that's what it'll look like. And it's kind of cool how the shades are different because it kind of looks like the sun reflecting off of it. I'm going to go ahead and choose this pink one because my red one turned out to look a lot more purpley than it's supposed to, but that's okay. So then you're going to draw the top of the tulip part. So it's going to be like a big U. You can uh, have it like however big you want it. Then you're going to do three triangles. So your top one's going to be bigger. Your middle one's going to be a little bit smaller. And you're going to have a bigger one again. And like I said, you can do whatever flower you want. It doesn't matter. And we're also going to do another type of flower thing that Paige came up with and she also came up with this. So props to Paige. So, that's what... I'm going to be making that one. So. Okay, yeah, Paige is going to be making that, but I'm also going to be making it because I like the idea a lot. And hopefully I can make it just as cute as Paige. <laughs> not. Okay, so, this is what it's going to look like. If it's like full um, tulipness. And then you're just going to cut it. So, just cut, 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 cut. And I'm going to go ahead and cut Ha ha puns to the to when I'm done with the, cutting the tulip. Okay, so I cut this out, and it the top is pretty much bigger, like a lot bigger than that. So you can make your stem pretty big if you want to. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your grass, and you're probably going to just like stick it in, like so. And you can readjust this and stuff because it kind of flops over like that. But I'm going to go ahead and set this grass part up on the cage. But what you pretty much do is you just weave it in and oops, you weave it in and out, like as you can see, and that just holds it up. I'm going to go ahead and do it on that side of the cage. So be right back. 
Okay, so there we go. I did it, and it kind of looks crappy, but you know what? That's okay. I also did another one since it kind of looks weird with just one. So do however me like, and I also did a bigger stem. It looks kind of weird, but it holds up better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY for spring slash Easter of tulips. Quill says hi. <laughs> So, if you guys enjoyed, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. Until next time, guys, goodbye.